Welcome to Homework Answers. We're going through the textbook Programming Logic and Design, 8th edition by Joyce Farrell. And in this video, we're covering Chapter 1, Exercise 8b. Remember, as always, uh, you'll have to make a few minor corrections to the solution here. Um, with every problem I do, I change a few very small things. So if you have the textbook, it'll be pretty easy to make the, make the corrections necessary. In this problem, we need to find the area of a wall and we need to figure out how many gallons of paint it's going to take to cover that wall and what the cost is going to be. And with this problem, we only need to find or we only need to show the pseudocode or the flowchart. But with all the problems I do, I always code it out for you to see and then we'll run it and watch it work. Uh, let's start with the pseudocode here. We've got start, our declarations, we've got one constant for um, a gallon of paint, because I've decided that a gallon of paint is going to cover 275 square feet. And then we've got our variables, length, width, area, and then we've got price and total cost. And actually, let me add this one in too. Um, total gallon, total gallons of paint. You'll see that up here. And so, um, Next, we'll have the uh, places for the user to enter length, width, and price. Because we'll find the area this way, and with the price, whatever we determine one price, uh, one gallon of paint costs, with that we'll be able to find uh, the total cost. And with the area, and um, then the other area up here, so the area of the wall and then the area of the gallon of paint, we'll be able to find the total gallons. Uh, so those are the only three things we really need for this problem. And then um, the equation section for our calculations, we're going to have area equals length times width, and then we're going to have uh, total cost. Actually, we need to add one here. So we'll need um, total gallons equals the area of the wall divided by the constant that we have up there, gallon of paint. And then we'll have total cost for all of the paint is going to be price times the area divided by our constant gallon of paint. That'll be in parentheses because we want that to execute first before we multiply by price and then we'll output the results. So this is the dollar sign, by the way, backslash U0024, and this needs to be in quotations. And uh, then we'll have our variable here, total cost, and whatever's contained in there is going to be displayed. And we also want to have, um, you know, output, oh, output, um, the total gallons of paint needed is, and um, total gallon. So we put that there because that's the variable that contains what we need. And then we end. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the code here. I want to point some things out real fast. Set precision to two and then fixed. The reason I put these here are because when we when we have our like for example our price here, our total cost, we're gonna have change, you know, it's not always gonna be just a whole dollar amount. We're gonna have some change left over. And if you use set precision two without fixed, let's say you have twelve dollars or twelve point one three four. If you put set precision to two, you'll just have twelve. But with fixed here, it's going to give you the two decimal places. So it would be 12.13. And if it's like 136, it would be like 12.14. It would round up. Um, you cannot use these two without this. You have to put this include IOMANIP in the header here, or else set precision, that won't work. So that's very important. 
uh, something to remember. So let's go ahead and run this program and see it work here. We got 40 and 55, so it'll be like 2,200 square feet. And let's say um, the price per gallon of paint is two dollars and forty-seven cent. I'm not sure if that's realistic or not, but we'll go with it. So the total gallons of paint we will need will be eight gallons. And you, I guess you really don't. Well, no, no, no. Yeah, definitely have the set precision because you might have eight point something gallons. So yeah, that's good. And then we'll have the total cost of paint is or the total cost for all the paint we'll need is going to be $19.76, so like a $20 job. And that all looks right and good and awesome, so uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.